Hi there. So today I will be talking about the process flow of the city water going through various techniques of filtration, then going to condense a tank from which it is sent to drainer, and from the drainer then it is finally fed to various boilers as a feed water. So firstly, the city water arrives and flows through a backflow preventer. The main purpose of this backflow preventer is to prevent any backflow of the water so that there is no rupture of piping or something else in our system. So after flowing through the backflow preventer, the water goes through softeners. In our power lab, we are having two softeners and one of them is always in service. So the main purpose of these softeners is to remove ions, that is like calcium and magnesium ions. So after flowing through these softeners and the removal of the ions, the water flows through a TFM, that is turbine flow meter. The main purpose of the turbine flow meter is to measure the gallons of water we are using in our power lab, so it keeps a record of that. After flowing through the turbine flow meter, the water reaches a bypass valve. This bypass valve plays a very important role. By closing or opening this bypass valve, we can either bring our RO system in action or can cut it off from the system. So let's first talk about if we are closing this bypass valve. So if we are closing this bypass valve, the water will flow through the RO system, then to the condensate and then to the grater. But on the other hand, if we open this, the water will directly flow through the condensate tank and to the grater. So our RO system is having its own various components. So if the water flows to the RO system, firstly it reaches a pre-filter. The main purpose of the pre-filter is to remove big contaminants like which are greater than 0.5 microns. So it removes those contaminants from the water. Then the water passes through two carbon filters. The carbon filter filters help in removing the chlorine. We need to remove the chlorine because it is not good for our permeate membrane and can cause damage to it and can even rupture that. So we remove the chlorine in these two carbon filters. After flowing through the carbon filters, the water reaches a pump. The main purpose of the pump is to provide enough pressure to the water so that the water reaches the permeate membrane with a force and even the smaller contaminants which are like about 0.2 microns can also be removed and minerals are also removed in this permeate membrane. The, per the, flow, is, the flow is maintained like if uh, like we are having concentrate or the waste water about 40% and we are getting treated water as 60%. So after flowing through this RO system the water, the line again joins the main line from where it flows to the condensate tank. But before going to the condensate tank, the line gets divided and goes to our English boiler. But we don't use this line because the water which is coming either from our RO system or from our softeners is still having condensable gases and oxygen. So if we directly put the water into English boiler, it can cause corrosion in that boiler. So instead of that line, we use the other bypass line which is directly coming from the drainer. So after flowing through that, the main line gets divided into two. The one goes directly to the drainer and the other one goes through the condensate and then to the drainer. But we don't use this line either because our drainer in our power lab is located at a high altitude. So if you are using this line correctly, the water can provide a backflow due to the altitude and can cause damage to our softeners or, to our, or can rupture our permeate membrane which we don't want. So instead, we use this line. So the water reaches the condensate tank. The condensate tank helps in storing the water and it's having its, its own instrumentation like a level indicator and level transmitter. We are having a level transmitter on the condensate tank because it's located in a confined space and we don't want to go into confined space to check the level. So this level transmitter helps in providing that level indication on a DCS machine. And after going through the condensate tank, the water reaches a pump. The main purpose of the pump is to provide enough pressure or force to the water so that it can reach the high altitude grader. So after going through the pump, the water goes through various wells like jack well and motorized well, where it, then it finally reaches to the grader from where, where it is fed to various boilers as a feed water.